Hi everybody, my name is Van Vicker. I'm an actor, filmmaker, producer, director. I do so many other things. So 99, I had just started off in show business. I, I auditioned at TV3 Network and uh, I, I got the part to be a presenter for a musical program. And that was how it started in 99, that's what I was doing. I was an entertainment presenter and then became a producer and then moved on in 99. That's all I was doing. Then I started doing radio in 2000 and I did radio TV simultaneously for the next four or five years and somewhere 2004 was when I ventured into acting. It was a series on TV called, what was the name of that thing? Sun City. Sun City. Few months down the line, I did my first film. So that is what I was doing in 99, when I was about 23. I was in show business. I wanted to be a doctor, you know? I wanted to be a gynecologist. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, and I ended up being a biker. I came out to be one of the best biology students back in secondary school. What happened was, and, and this statement I'm about to say is quite controversial because I remember when I posted it on, on Instagram, there were a few talks about it. It came just around the election period last year. And, but my, my aim was not to necessarily promote what the government was promoting, but my aim was to share my experience as to what the government was promoting at the time. And I was saying, if I had the opportunity to have had free senior high school back in my time, very likely I would have ended up being a gynecologist because I would have gone to the, to the tertiary institution. But unfortunately, I couldn't do tertiary institution at the time because my mom wasn't financially able to send me to a tertiary institution because she had spent all her money on the secondary education. So I was saying, yeah, if free education was back then, then I would have been a doctor today, most likely. So that was why I, di I didn't go. But it's all good. When Eddie called me up for the TV series, um, I'm not sure, was he the first person? No, maybe not. I think some other lady called me first. And then I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, I don't do series. You know, I'm, I'm not really interested. Um, because for me, I, I'm, I've been producing and I know what it takes to, to produce a series or be in a series as, as an actor. It's, it's a whole lot of work. And I'm thinking, you know what, around here, usually, the money is not good enough. So, and, and besides, I'm in school, it, it's, my schedule is tight. So I'm looking at the time consumption vis-a-vis -vis what I'm getting paid. I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't do series. Along the line, I think Eddie comes in and I'm not sure what happened first or second, but eventually I said, you know, okay, let me have a look at the script. Is the script ready? I think the script is what may push me. So let me look at the script. The script was forwarded to me. It took me a few days to read it. <laughs> um, but when I read it, I think that was perhaps my very first uh, second thought about doing series here, because the, the script was mind blowing. Um, I love the language. I, I think I'm someone who enjoys quality words, quality sentences. So when I read it, first thing was, um, with the money, I'm sure we can negotiate. But I like the script. So let me give it a shot. So that was my first impression. The language was good. And then I know I specifically when I spoke to Eddie, I specifically, unequivocally said, if we can follow the script as it is, then this will be a hit. And not when we get there at a point, we start 
cutting corners and there are budgetary issues, location issues. And I know sometimes these things happen when it comes to production. But pretty much, if you can follow your script, anything from 80, 85% upwards, you should be fine. And I am, I'm proud that we did follow the script 79. <laughs> uh, 79, 80 is good, right? This is one point less. Um, okay, no, we, we, we followed it pretty, pretty well. And I'm glad I was a part of it. I think it should be a, a strong, it should make a strong impact on, on, on the viewers. It's an honor to be compared to someone who is a legend or someone who has made it, someone who has accomplished. So for me, it, I, I know some people will be thinking, you know, I am who I am, so don't compare me to somebody else who technically is not so much older than I am, neither has he probably done so much than I have done. But in truth, dude was there before you, dude did a lot before you, accomplished a whole lot before you started. So what's the big deal? So I, I, I the only time perhaps I would uh, not frown, frown is the wrong word. Uh, I would maybe pause, would be when you actually call me Ramsey. Then I will pause for a second, I'm like, <laughs> you know? But if you compare me to him and say uh, uh, in any way, I think it's, it's an honor being on the same or similar pedestal as he is. So it's all good. I, I think for me, you probably risen me higher than I deserve. So it's cool. If I had to work and I didn't need the money, but who said you work for money in the first place? I could work for fun. So I don't see where the money comes in. That's my answer. I can't sell it. I can't give it away. And there is, there is starvation, I eat it. I kill it. <laughs> because if I can't sell it and I can't give it away, I either keep it as a pet or there is hunger and I, I kill it. And I'm sure it can feed me and my next four generations. <laughs> I don't, what's the size of the elephant? <laughs> okay. Six generations then. I didn't know it was going to be deserted, so why do I take those items? Uh, I will pick my boxes. I hate walking around naked. I will pick my boxes first. Well, you didn't even tell me if I had clothes on already in the first place. Okay, so let's assume I'm, 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 I'm fully clothed. So I'm, I'm wearing clothes. The first two things I would pick, I'll pick my watch. Because I would love to do the time any day. I love my watches. Can I pick a human being? Yeah, I'll take my wife. I'm, I'll probably leave the kids because I know somebody else can take care of them and I can have more kids if I have my wife, so yeah. I don't want anybody else taking care of my wife. I can take care of her. And those of you who will be thinking, oh, why didn't he take his Bible? The Bible is in my head. It's in my head. And I don't need so many scriptures. I just need one. And I can pray that prayer every day. That people identify me with or I would personally fictional. It has to be real. Does it have to be something I have played? fictional character. None. I, I, I don't think I identify with any. But realistically or in real life, I think I identify with uh, being a wrestler. And perhaps that, that will be uh, The Rock. Yeah. I think. If, if there was wrestling in Ghana, I probably would have been a part of it. Yeah. 
I don't know why. I used to watch wrestling every day. When I was a growing up boy, I wake up five in the morning and I'm watching. And those were the days where we had the uh, Hulk Hogan's and uh, uh, Andre the Giant and um, uh, who? Undertaker. Undertaker is not too long ago. I'm talking about in the olden days, man. I'm 44. Go back. I'm talking about when I was six, seven, eight, nine, and that is in the early 80s. I'm not sure where you were, but I was watching wrestling then. <laughs> I love my wrestling, man. Anyway, hello everybody. My name is Van Vick. I'm an actor. Uh, I, I want to be really honest with you, okay? Um, the last time or the first time I did a series was back in the early 2000s. And I do not remember doing any series after that one. And if I can recall properly, this will probably be my second series I've done in my entire life as an actor. Public figure has to be a different one. If you trust me as an actor, then I'm telling you, subscribe to Red TV, watch Public Figure. It's an awesome story, beautiful cast, great directorials, and it's just, hoo, hoo, hoo! I'm done.